fans turn up because they're passionate about their team. They're not passionate about the rules committee, I'm telling you. Uh, I want to see the umpires turn to the crowd and go, what? <laughs> they changed the rules on me. I don't know. <laughs>
and it was a watered down version. It yeah. wasn't as hard as what we did. <laughs> the next year, Simon Goodwin says, we're going back to do that camp. Yeah. The players erupted, we're not going, <laughs> it's too hard, <laughs> we get injured. They went to the Players Association and yeah. complained. Yeah. If I was Simon Goodman, I would have walked out straight away. Dang. I'm just saying on pure talent, but they did what they did last year. Yeah. yeah. But on the weekend, when the going got tough, they, they yeah. weren't there. So Had they done that camp, they would have found something yeah, right. in that last quarter. <laughs> if they'd only just done that camp, they would have won yeah. on the weekend. All right, well, Melbourne were disappointed. Yes. I agree with you there, but I'm going to go the Bulldogs. I've got to go the Bulldogs. Why? They are up the unlosable match, and then they come out, they go to sleep, they kick two goals after half time. That would have been a famous victory for that football club. They could have used that and gone all the way through. Perth, they've got some bad memories of Perth, I've got to tell you, yeah, last yeah. year as well. They've woken up, they've played the best half of football they've played all year round. They've gone in and got a little bit comfortable, come out. They should have done the camp. Anything I'll say about that, and you know, when you're playing Perth, it's pretty parochial. I reckon you've got to play a little bit different. Like, they had a good lead, and I know you just want to keep playing your normal game. Yeah. But as you know, Fremantle all West Coast, if they get two or three goals, yeah. that crowd gets involved. Oh my God, it's so loud. And it's so loud. Yeah. And they, they draw on that crowd. And that, I reckon they should have slowed the game down That's what they bit. should have done, yeah. absolutely. They, they kept going and thinking, we're, yeah. we're Christmas here, we're playing so well. Look, Bont was fantastic from the earlier argument. The rest of them, they just, they just forgot how to play football in the second half. They yeah. absolutely, I think you're right. The crowd, the, the mixture of all of that, the pressure of this is one and done. We yeah. lose, we're out. Now they're out. They're on a footy trip right now. Or they're yeah. drinking on their mad Monday, poor boys. I feel so sorry for them. So I can't go for Melbourne. I've got to go for the Bulldogs. <laughs> Unlosable game. They lost it. But they, there was <laughs> mitigating circumstances. The crowd yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Melbourne. Yeah. At that, the MCG. That yeah. is choked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just choked. You win. What about the rules committee? Because they always come under fire. They're always yeah. changing things around, aren't they? And you walk around the streets, you talk to the people, they're like, ah, oh, the rules committee, they're ruining the game of football. They come on with a new rule every... What's your thoughts on this? <laughs> you played the game, you're an expert, tell me. I reckon just put them to bed yeah. for five years. Whoever's on that rules committee, just yeah. say, have a spell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just have a moratorium. Have a spell. <laughs> Just have Leave it a moratorium for, a for five years. Because the game, the game will look after itself. I love that. Yeah. I'm not sure why we want to change the rules every year. And a lot of it's got to do with the soccer mums, I get it. <laughs> it's, half the time it's just one or two incidents yeah. that yeah. are very rarely yeah. going to happen. It's a manic, barbaric yeah, game. It is. It and is. people are going to run into each other and they're going to get hurt. And that's why we need a rules committee, mate. It's a manic, barbaric game. People are getting hurt and we've got to look after our players. I like some of the rules that they've brought in. One of them. One of them I like is the head high stuff, obviously. If you hurt somebody, you're out. That's it, you're yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. I also like the stand on the mark rule. You can't move from the mark. Now that would have hurt, I could not get used to that one at the start. Yeah. But standing there, what it actually does is, is it, it creates this long down, a faster game, yes, but a long yeah. kick down into our forwards. The big forwards are back, and I love that. You'd love that, surely. You used to play on some of the great forwards. I get the head high thing. I yeah. I yeah. When that first got introduced, I must admit I went, you're going to get hit in the head, bad luck. Yeah. But it's proven now how, how much damage you can do to your head. I had a lot of knocks in the head, but maybe it didn't bother me. Oh, <laughs> or, or, it made you smarter. Did. It made you actually smarter. But, so I get that one. But sometimes you just got to go, right, yeah, we don't have to change rules every year or implement something. Oh, I see and that I feel argument. sorry for the umpires. Yeah, because they're always having to learn, they're aren't they? They've got to interpret it. And then on the weekend, the crowds are yelling at them. We fill up the whole talkback radio yeah. about how bad the umpires went. Supporters, they bad the umpires, but that Monday before the grand final, we had Brownlow and everyone sits here with bated breath waiting for their votes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love the umpires <laughs> then, don't we? <laughs> no, look, I, I see where you're going with this. It's a knee-jerk reaction to it. Maybe there's a little bit of time spent on it before you go and change it straight away. And the umpires do have to always evolve and they get it wrong a lot. Yeah. But this is a business art. You know it, mate. It's different to when we played. When we played, it was like, it was all about the game. It was all about hard hitting. It was big marks. Now it's the business of football and we have to protect our valuable assets, which is the players. So if they're getting hurt or if the game is slowing down or it looks bad on TV, they have to change, mate. It's at the TV now. Yeah, you can only go so far. Otherwise, if you really want to protect them, let's go to touch footy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. and that's what it'll probably get to yeah. in 10 years. Well, that's true. If, you're gonna, if you want to eliminate injuries, yeah. you're going to have to take away the contact. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I like some, I think we can probably sort of sit on the fence with this one, be a bit 50-50. There are some things that need a knee-jerk straight away because it's such a visual game and it's, we've got every 
media outlet in the country highlighting football yeah. and 90,000 people at a last home and away game, Carlton Collingwood. That final over in Perth, record crowd, record crowds all weekend. This game is in a great place, which just suggests that the rules that they're changing, it, it, it's making it better every single week. So that said, it's not. the fans it's are not making it better. The fans are getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> The, the fans, true believers are getting angry. The fans turn up because they're passionate about their team. They're not passionate about the rules committee, I'm telling you. Uh, I want to see the umpires turn to the crowd and go, what? <laughs> they changed the rules on me. I don't know. <laughs> and they've got the right to do that. Yes, they absolutely do. It's just like yeah, our home days. I never beat you and you beat me again. Yeah, my <laughs>